banks of the river went Seven fat cows came out of the mud Such a monster so bullshit The thing I've ever seen is that I'll ever, ever, ever be This train of God is awfully Joseph What does it mean? Now you know that thing I'm stupid But I don't know what I'm doing So long as you call me Joseph Nothing in a field out of town But all sold seven beautiful years of corn uh -huh. They were wild, they were golden But you guessed it wrong uh -huh. There were seven other years That were tattered and torn uh -huh. Now the bad one ain't the fool Told me how I came up from behind And if they did Joseph is the punchline It's really gonna blow your mind But well, I got the bit about the corn, but I really didn't get the part about the cows. Um, so I was wondering if you could give it to me one more time. Mr. Farrell, man. <laughs> Please? Yeah, let me how I'll show you how we rock and roll in Egypt. Huh? I can't be doing nothing in a field out of town, and I saw seven beautiful hues of corn. Right when home, and there was seven all the years that were tattered and torn. Now the back on me, the goat on him, they came up from behind you, did it? But Joseph is the punchline, it's really gonna blow your mind. It's gonna flip your lead, man. Back on one's as bad, better be than ever, ever, ever be. This lead has got me all shook up, be nice and tell me what. of bumper crops are on their way oh. years of plenty endless wheat and tons of hay Ooh. your farms will boom there won't be room to store the surplus food you grow after that the future doesn't look so bright Egypt's luck will change completely over and famine's hand will start the I just don't know Who this man could be I just don't know Who this man could be I just don't know Who this man could be I just don't know Who this man could be I just don't know You! Oh. Yes! Thank you, sir. Say 
Who was so necrosis, Joseph is a clever kid. Who'd have thought that 14 cows could mean the things he said they did? Joseph, you must help me further. I have got a job for you. You shall see us through this crisis. You shall be my number two. Pharaoh told his guns to fetch a chisel from the local store. Thereupon he ordered them to come to change that Joseph wore. Joseph got a royal pardon and a host of splendid things. A chariot of gold, a cloak, a medal, and some signet rings. Joseph, Pharaoh's number two. looks to you Seven summers on the trunk went perfect just as Joseph said Joseph saw that food was gathered ready for all the years ahead Seven years of famine followed Egypt did not mind a bit The first recorded ration in wise to have chosen you. You'll be wise to agree. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Joseph, how can we ever well, say huh? all that we want to allow really? Jeff would have baffled Abraham. Now we're in a partnership, it's just a piece of cake. Greatest guns in store, only comes to show off. Anyone from anywhere can make it if they get a lucky break. This could be a perfect end, a perfect place to stop the show. To get her. And everything around us was fine. But now the fields are dead and bare. No joie de vivre anywhere. A man to know we drink a bit of wine. <coughs> Those candy days we used to know were having a Remember those wonderful parties, <laughs> <laughs> the splendor of Canaan cuisine. Ooh, la, la. Extravagant, elegant soirees, as gay as the Bible has seen. It's funny, but. Since we lost Joseph, <laughs> Joseph, we've gone to the other extreme. 
No one comes to dinner now. No. We only eat them anyhow. Uh, I even find I'm missing Joseph's dreams. Those Canaan days we used to know. Where have they gone? Where did they go? Hey, yeah, raise your berries to those Canaan days. We lost Joseph. We've gone to the other extreme. Perhaps we all miss just the last. Perhaps he wasn't quite that bad. Oh, how we miss his entertaining dreams. Those gay days we used to know. Where have they gone? Where did
I dreamed that in the fields one day the corn gave me a sign. There, eleven sheaves of corn all turned and bowed to mine. I dreamed I saw eleven stars, the sun of the moon and sky, bowing down before my star. And now I realize why. How do I know where you come from? You could be spies no! telling me that you were hungry. That could be lies. No! How do I know who you are? Why do you think I should help you? Would you help me? Yes! Why on earth should I believe you? I've no guarantee. Honesty is our middle name Life is slowly ebbing from us Hope's almost gone It's getting very hard to see us From sideways on Grovel, grovel, cringe bows to fall Worship, worship, beg news once for all I rather like the way you're talking Astute and sincere Suddenly a tragic story gets me right here This is what we hoped you'd say All the tugging at my heartstrings seems quite justified I shall give you what you came for And lots more beside Thank you, thank you, Prince to fall Worship, worship, thank you Joseph handed them sackloads of food And they groveled with base gratitude And then unseen Joseph nipped around the back And planted a cup in young Benjamin's sack Where the brothers were Joseph turned to the moor in a terrible stare and said, No! 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 Oh, what? Stop! You robbers, your little numbers up! One of you was told of my precious golden cup! Joseph started searching through his brother's sacks! Everyone was nervous, no one could relax! Is it Reuben? No! Is it Simeon? No! Is it Nathalie? No! Is it Dan? Is it Asher? No. Is it Isika? No. Is it Levi? No. Is it Man? Is it Zebulun? No. Is it Gad? No. Is it Judah? No. Is it him? Could it be? 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 Could it possibly be Benjamin? <laughs> Benjamin, you nasty you! Your crime has shocked me to the core. Never. In my whole career, have I encountered this before? Guards seize him, lock him in a cell, throw the keys into the Nile as well. Oh, 
crash of drums, a flash of light My golden coat flew out of sight The car 